Hey, Steve Zook here. Welcome back to Pokes Who Channel. Hey, I'm doing some freebies today on developing right hand technique. Another really great exercise. And again, folks, do that. You know, you get what you, you're going to get out of your guitar playing and you're composing what you put into it. So, uh, you know, developing technique is really a powerful thing. And by the way, I really believe in, in doing that on arch top guitars. It just helps your ear training, it develops powerful techniques. So, I mean, even if you just Seriously, like, you know, I sell the lower guitars. You can pick up like an LH300 uh, solid carved top for, I forget what it is, I think it's 519. It's incredible sounding guitar. And it's so good for your technique development. Uh, I like to spend uh, at least a couple hours a day working on, you know, picking exercises and whatnot. So anyway, uh, continuing this, I'm talking about when you practice doing it with your hand floating, your right hand floating, okay? as well as resting your right hand and placing the accent, okay? And then varying that accent and then doing the accent and then doing the next notes a little quieter with your right hand. You're trying to develop the ability to, uh, it's almost like ice skating, just do this. And uh, now uh, for this one, we're gonna use this diminished scale, which is a great scale by the way. And you can, to see it here, let me just slightly adjust the camera here. I'm on, I'm on the F here, so it's F, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C. Here's my A, by the way. I may not be right at concert pitch. Um, F, F, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C, uh, D, D sharp. And it just keeps repeating that pattern. F, half step up to F sharp, whole step up to G sharp, half step up to A, B, C, D, D, and then, let's see here. Yeah, then he's good. Here, F, F sharp, um, G sharp, A, B, C, D, D sharp. Okay, so it's, it's a great scale to work on. Now, a great thing to do with that is use the, the 12 picking, like do 12 notes for each one. And I like to do that resting in my hand so that you develop tension in your right hand and you really get a powerful right hand. So I'm, let me adjust it so you can see my right hand a little bit more. So I'm gonna rest my right hand on the strings, okay? And I'm gonna accent the first of the 12. Here. Don't let the simplicity of this deny you the benefits. Then vary maybe the second note of the 12. Okay, now rest, right hand on the strings. I think I missed that one. There we go. Okay. Then do it again and hit the third note of, the, of those 12 notes. One, two, three, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three. See what I'm doing? Then do it again and hit the fourth note. One, two, three, four. Then do it again, hit the fifth note. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then again with the sixth note. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seventh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The idea is you want to practice 12 notes at a time and vary the accent. I'll do it on the first one, do it on the sixth, do it on the third. This is really going to develop powerful technique, okay? And uh, so it's using this scale again to show that scale. It's here on the first fret. It's a diminished scale. It's good to practice this as well with the hand just floating, okay? Then do it with the hand floating and hit that first note harder. Then hit the second note harder. Then rest your, rest your right hand on the strings and do the same thing. This is really, really powerful. Now, in the other video that I think is downloading right now, I was doing double triplets and whatnot, which is great to do. Another great way to do those double triplets is like this. See what I'm doing? I'm just using that major scale form. Okay, we've all done this scale probably. 
four two one four two one three one four three one four three one four two. Okay, that form. Okay, but you do it like this: a double triplet. Here's my A, by the way. It may not be right at concert pitch. So, uh, hear the accent? Boom. Now I'm resting my hand on the strings to develop tension. Then. That's a great one because you have to, you know, you have to cross over. As guitar players, you know, the tendency is is to do it the easy way, but you'll develop more technique and more ability to express the ideas floating through your head or the ideas that are given to you as a gift from the one mind, however you want to look at it. But this is a great one to do. Hear the accent, bam, bam. You can accent the first, you can do both, like, do the first one with the double triplets, hit the second one. That's the whole idea is to vary those accents, okay? So again, the scale here is the diminished, starting on the first fret here on F. And it just repeats that pattern, half step, whole step, half step, then you go to B here in the second fret, F, F sharp, B, F on the second string. Okay, and then you do each one 12 times. Okay, you can also do triplets. It's a great scale to develop. If you can do triplets, place accent, bam. idea is vary how you place your accents and combine keeping your hand, you know, vary those accents and combine having your hand free floating like this with resting on, on the strings and hitting the first one hard, placing accents, okay, and then the other variation was placing the accent but do the rest of those a little bit softer. Once you get this going, it's like, um, it's like ice skating. It, this is really powerful. Do, do this an hour or two a day, you'll be absolutely blown away. By the way, this guitar is available. Um, I know you can't really hear it on this demo very good, but this, this is a $4,500 guitar. It's a 1953 Epiphone uh, Triumph Region. These are unbelievable guitars because the guys that made these had backgrounds carved from violin tops. It's a $4,500 guitar. Bottom line, you know, uh, I can do like $32.49 on it. Uh, I'm probably, if you're going to do PayPal, I'm probably going to want you to help me with that PayPal fee because I'm doing a huge discount at $32.49. I'm not making much on it because you don't get this kind of stuff cheap. And I kind of bought this more from my collection, but I just have too much stuff. So, uh, like I said, um, if you're interested, I, I'd prefer like a wire transfer or you can just put the money in my account. You can go to eBay and put in community hit poke Susie. I have 100% positive feedback. But these are these are incredible guitars because, like I said, the guys making these had had backgrounds, uh, carbon violin top. So if you're interested in this guitar, like I said, uh, give me give me a buzz at seven one four five four eight zero three eight five. Sometimes it seems like when I have too much light here, I don't get as good of a shot as a little bit less light. But this this guitar has an incredible back on it. Some very, very interesting looking um, figured wood on the back. It's really gorgeous and the sound is just incredible. And it, what's kind of neat about this guitar is it wasn't played for a while. So I live down by the beach and, and it was actually, it came from a state that's a little bit on the dry side. And you know, since it, I've been leaving the guitar out a little bit, it's absorbed a little bit of moisture from the ocean, just enough to get the moisture content perfect where this thing is really starting to sing out. Look at some of that nice figure on the side there. But anyway, if you're, it comes with a Gibson L5 CES case, which fits perfectly. But this is a lot of guitar. Like I said, it's got a really gorgeous, really unique kind of wood pattern right there on the side, where the flame kind of goes sideways, and it's got some quilts in it, and just little like really interesting patterns, a combination of bird's eyes and quilts and flame. It's a gorgeous guitar. And these are some of the best arch tops ever built. Um, you know, people like Benedetto and people like that have studied these for years. But uh, yeah, there's no pick guard on this, but this is an incredible guitar. Um, plays great, all the notes ring out. Somebody um, 
pretty much just uh, you know put all, lowered all the frets uh, down so that everything plays evenly so it plays great so I wouldn't do nothing to this guitar it plays really nice um, but like I said uh, if you're interested you can give me a call 714-548-0000 385. It's really, really, if you've never owned an old Triumph Regent, it is something to get excited about. I know Joe Pass did several albums with uh, old Epiphones, and uh, if you've never had one of these, it's really an experience, man. I really do believe working on arch tops really helps you develop as an artist because uh, it, 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 folk, it just makes you, you tend to, to listen a little bit more when you play an arch top, I think is what it is. And then it's also really good for your, for your technique development. But yeah, this is really, really a gorgeous guitar. I'm trying to show you some of the wood in the back and whatnot. But if you want any more pictures, just hit me up. But uh, I'll miss this one. But this is a great investment as well because this stuff's getting harder and harder to find. And like I said, it plays great. It's got nice action. All the notes ring out. It's really sweet. Take care.